Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video where I'm going to show you how to add custom sound effects to the Discord soundboard to use within your Discord server. So the first thing that you want to do is log into Discord and then once you've logged in, go to the server where you want to add uh, the custom effects to and then go right here to the server, hit the drop down and go to server settings. Once under server settings, you want to go to the server here under overview and all of these options and go to soundboard. Click on soundboard there. And now to the right, you're going to see an option here that says upload sound. So if we click on the blue button that says upload sound, you'll see this new interface come available to you here. Just quickly, I want to let you know that I get my sound effects from a site called Envato uh, or Envato Elements and I subscribe to them. This is not a sponsor. I'm just telling you where I get mine from. Once you have your sound effects downloaded onto your computer, what you want to do here where it says upload a sound, you need to know two things. Number one, that the file has to be in MP3 format and it can be no bigger than 512 kilobytes in size uh, and it can only be up to five seconds in length. All right, now that you know that, go ahead and click the blue browse button to find the file here. So I have an achievement audio file that sounds like this and I just click on it or double click on it and then go ahead and click open and that'll go ahead and insert that audio file here. Now, a couple of things here, it tells you the file name and then you go ahead and give the sound a name. Once you've given the sound file a name, next you'll go to the related emoji option here. If you click into that, you're able to select an emoji that will go along with the sound effect. And then down below that, you're gonna see something that says sound volume. As you noticed, that audio file that I imported is very loud. So I'll wanna go ahead and decrease that. And if you ever wanna play it back to see what it sounds like, go ahead and press the play button here. And once you have the volume the way that you want it and everything is named and labeled, go ahead and click the blue button that says upload. Click on the blue upload button there, it'll process it. And as you can see, it'll tell you the emoji, the related name, as well as the person who uploaded it. Now, depending on if you have Nitro or not, you may only be able to upload a certain amount of these files, but if you ever wanna go and remove them and add new ones, you go here underneath soundboard and you'll see how many slots you have available. And if you hover over a sound, you will see a red X to delete it, or you will see a pencil icon to click into and actually edit the things that we just edited. In order to play the sounds, what you would do is you would get out of settings here, you would go into a voice channel uh, within your Discord server, and then right here, you'll see something that says open soundboard. It looks like a little musical note. Click on that there that says open soundboard, and as you can see, here it is, the specific server where I uploaded that audio file, and I can just press play, and it plays that sound effect. Now you can see I can hover over this and I can actually favorite this. If I click on favorite, it's going to show up here underneath my favorite sounds. So if you have a bunch of different sounds, you can favorite them and find the ones that you want to use the most frequently uh, right here at the top under your favorites. That's it. That my friend is how you upload custom sound effects to your Discord server in the soundboard. If you have any questions about this, please put those in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this helped you out and I will see you guys in the next video.